it's late afternoon and the light is a little bit harsh but I want to show you everything I did from the ground up literally so here goes the inside as I said the lights a little brutal here but there's that beautiful floor that I've had for more than a year still looks pretty great actually it's the vinyl cover that's protecting it makes it so great and then the carpet is fully covered all the way by clear vinyl in fact not just any clear vinyl it has little nubs on it so that the vinyl does not slip around at all works good Makes it soft and easy to get into, very comfy, and extremely easy to clean. This I had in the back, had it out the back hatch, called it my kitchen. Now it's in my living room. On the left, it's unorganized, but that's going to be for first aid, miscellaneous, and some of the food items that I don't use as often. Over here, snack, snack things, breakfast, lunch, eat quick and easy things that I can make inside. Then my marvelous ice maker, which I would not want to be without. The Blue Eddy does run the ice maker, but of course I'm hooked to shore power right now. This little fanny pack I don't use as a fanny pack. I got it at a truck stop and I use it to put receipts in. I'm going to show you step by step. That's my window cover. That actually, that, that what you're looking at right there, used to be a throw, like a throw blanket. But I cut it up and used it on double reflectics that I bought because I ran out of time. It's the same one I've had since I started out more than a year ago. And on the other side of that is black crushed velvet. I'm going to put more lights in here, but right now I've got this little cutie. I should do one just on the various lights. It also has a flame effect, which I happen to love. Okay, on with the tour. These window covers have been in here since the beginning. I have never taken them out. They were too hard to get in there. Looks like I need to get a little double stick tape to perfect it. That is a layer of that plastic cardboard and Reflectix and black wallpaper on the outside. Okay, I showed you a tour of the back. Now, this is the third row seat that's up. I have a comforter to protect the seat and I have some sheets and various like tablecloths and various things to help even it out a little bit because the seat does dip down. You'll see that there is quite a bit of room here and there is some room for storage still under the seat. I haven't even filled all that up yet but I'll show you what I do have down there. That's not wide enough. And look how low it is. I couldn't fit across there, so let's go to phase two. Look what I did for you. I took everything out just so I could show you how I put it in there. Got all my pillows out. Got some computers there. Got some little bins. Pillows, pillows, blankets. A new privacy tent that I use kind of like a garage. It's a catch-all place for things like dirty clothes, water, <laughs> be able to clear out the van a little bit just to give me more room. This is what makes the bed doable for me. This is half a sheet of plywood, 24 by 48. We cut the legs off of the bottom of the bed I had before, which was a lawn chair. And we screwed them to we, that's the royal we, this is my brother and sister-in-law. They screwed the legs into the plywood. I got this board, a finished 
board, but then we also wrapped it in vinyl. I don't know if you can see that pattern there. We wrapped it in vinyl just to make it smoother so it won't destroy the leather seats. I've got the protectors on there. The um, pipe insulators, I believe that's what that is, already split in half to go right on there. We even used duct tape along the bottom because there were some screws in there to hold the legs on, which I'll show you in just a minute. There's the next phase. Those two legs right there came off of the end of the bed I had before. The bed I had before was only 24 inches wide. The mattress was 25. But this extends the seat by quite a bit. And there's some room under there now to store some things. And now the bed is going to be a lot wider than just that seat right there. And it's well protected. There's the next phase. This is a Sealy baby crib mattress and you can see it brings it up a little bit higher toward the armrests on the side but I'm not done yet that's already helping let's see what's next now here is the memory foam I'll put a link in the description for all of this this brings it up even higher and you can see I haven't cut it to fit yet I bought this Black & Decker Comfort Grip 9-inch electric knife to cut the foam with. Let's see if that's going to work. I haven't even opened it yet. Now I'm going to show you why people always said, Give me that, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Which made me feel very incompetent. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, oops. Ouch. <laughs> does cook good. I did it. I cut it myself. Not too bad. That's, that could be pushed down up there. That's, it's, it does fit it. Goes right to the edge. Much better. I did it. See that nice space underneath there? All the way back over there. And this was a nice addition. My sister-in-law just had this. I don't know what it was for. Piece of metal. But it just happens to fit right up there. Goes under my ice maker. Makes this nice little extra space there for a bedside table. I've got some things that I'll be putting there step by step sorry about the lighting but now the bedspread is on you can see it goes up over the armrest goes all the way to the wall there on both sides and that's before i put the pillows on so just look at all that floor space I probably will put some other kind of cabinet over here because there's room. These are the seat covers that I put on when I first got the car. That's not the original seat. It's got a little pocket back here. Underneath there, on the actual seat, there are more USB hookups, <laughs> outlets, whatever you call them. But I keep a few little tiny things in there. These are stickers from my store. A little butterfly. I want to give those away at the next meetup. Floor space. I forgot I was filming with the ice maker on and the blue eddy. Pretty good so far, huh? Floor space. Oh, living room. Believe it or not, that's not an aquarium. That's actually a pillow that I have clothes in. It's a nice big pillow. I think he's beautiful. Look at the detail in that. Oh my goodness. They always have a smile. There's a third dolphin in there, but he's sort of squished. Up here 
on that metal plate that I showed you. I have this handy dandy little carrier thing here. You can put a cell phone right there. You can put drinks, cups, and so forth in there, which is nice because if it's right beside your bed and it's your bedside table, it's awfully easy to knock stuff off. So I like that. This thing also, this also doubles as a, it can be put on the bed if I'm sitting up there. It can be put on the bed to hold drinks or a phone or whatever. And with the soft side down, it's a lap table for um, whatever, to eat on, to put the computer on, whatever. Handy dandy little thing. Sometimes I would cook on here. If I had a, when I get my rice cooker, I would definitely cook on that little surface right there. This plate extends the bedside table so that this fits right there, right beside the bed. What do you think so far? Floor space, under bed storage still. All this room. Of course, I haven't put the potty in yet. That's coming up soon. We have bed with lots of pillows, very comfy. We have nightstand, kitchen, ice maker, power, bedside, food, emergency stuff. Things you want to get out in that left drawer. And do you know what that is? It's a potty. Yes. I also sit on this. It's nice and sturdy. It's 16 by 16 by 16. So here's the system. It's a potty. Inside I have pine pellets. I have an extra security bucket. It's just a waste basket. On and I pull this out over the seat. Just like that. And I fill it of course with a pine pellet. There aren't any in there now. So that I never ever will have to clean that toilet. I will not get a brush out and try to get that little ring out of there. I will not have to get out a plunger and I will not have to call a plumber. Each and every day I have a brand new clean toilet. Just like that. So tomorrow I have some new lights to put up over there. I think I'm going to like them. I haven't tried them out yet. New lights. And I'll show you more about the lighting session. And I'm going to show you how I get in and out gracefully tomorrow. We're losing light right now at the campground. <laughs>